let's uh, get into some predictions for 2024. So, yes. Alex, you want to kick us off? Yes, I've written down a, f- a few different categories. So we're going to put down um, the six of them. Uh, we'll go through one by one. I think we'll not do the top one I've got on the list, though. Um, let's do who will get their first win this year. So it can't be a, you know, Will Brown, uh, Brock Feeney, Cam Waters. It, it can't be anyone that's won. I I think it's under Home Guard. Yeah. Yeah. Although he's already won one before. He won. Never at, mind. He won at the Bend all those years ago. Oh my God! Yeah, he did too. In, uh, Never mind. 20, I gotta give a new answer. Twenty twenty, I think. Jack Smith. I have to have a new answer. <laughs> Jordan said Jack Smith. There we go. He's going to be the champion. He, he's actually going <laughs> to... He's not even going to compete, and he's going to win. Um, yeah, no, nah, I reckon if... Thomas Randall. That's who I want to... That, yeah, I agree. I, I want him... He, uh, he's the one I want to win the most, who hasn't yet. Yeah. Yeah, I um, agree. But right. if Erebus has a good car, Todd or Jack? Could be Todd. Although Jack's already well, Jack's won. Jack's already Todd. won. Yeah, yeah, so it has to be Todd. Well, Todd could have... But we'll see how we go. But yeah, definitely Thomas Randall. All right, next. <laughs> uh, well, okay, let's do... You go to the other side. The worst team slash driver. Um, probably the second half that uh, Brad Jones racing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jones. Yeah, Jones and Evans. Um, it's, Evans might be all right, but the car isn't the greatest. But... They, you know, yeah. they haven't had a great run. But in terms of worst driver, um, now I'm going to have to say Jones, to be honest. Yeah, nothing, nothing against him. There's just so many fast blokes in this series. Yeah, and I think the, the couple of rookies that we got in are probably better than him already. Mm, definitely. Uh, next one is I'll go similar thing. Worst and best race. Now, this is just based on which one do you reckon will have the most value for money, most entertainment? Um, because let's be honest, we'd always like to say Bathurst, but last year Bathurst was a snooze fest. Oh, I really so did not it like can't, that. It was not good at all. Um, I want to say, and Newcastle is gone now, so that's a different answer. Um, <laughs> I kind of think the New Zealand round might be the best one. Just because it's new. Yeah, I'm looking, and, for, I'm looking uh, forward to that. Yeah, and I, and I think the cars would be a real handful around uh, around Taupo. How do you pronounce it? Taupo? Tor- Torpo, I think. Or Torpo. Taupo or us, Torpo. Us Aussies will never get yeah. to sound good as the Kiwis. I'm going to say Torpo. I'm going to lock that in. Um... Torpo. All right, cool. <laughs> and I think the worst race will be... Uh, probably Sydney. Yeah, I don't. I don't like Eastern Creek to be honest. No, fair enough. Um, probably. See, Gold Coast was quite exciting last year, so I, I reckon we might see another good race at Gold Coast. Um, because I I'm, I agree with you with the Torpor, but it's also in the unknown as well. So who knows if it will guaranteed be good? Tasmania. They're literally just doing two 60-minute races in cold winter. Um, so I don't think they'll be incredible. But So I'm going to lock in Gold Coast for my for the best. And yeah. probably for the worst, I'll probably maybe... Uh, uh, I don't want to say Melbourne, but because they might be exciting. But maybe just because of the fact that... Um, I forgot about that. I'm going to... Pro- yeah, I'll probably say... Um, Probably Melbourne, I reckon. Yeah, because they got no pit stop now. Nah, so it's not. There's not really a massive dynamic. What's going to happen if someone has a fire? <laughs> Again, <laughs> pit lane's gone. <laughs> Just pull over. All right, what else have we pub? done? Done one, two, three. Okay, the next one is the best enduro team combo or driver combo. Now, obviously, we don't know all of them. I don't think. Um. So from uh, just the ones that we know so them. far, and I'm pretty sure both of our answers are going to be AAA related. Yeah, I've got well, I've got one for them, one for someone else. So I'll let you okay. go first, and then uh, compare notes. 
Uh, to be honest, I don't think I can go past Brock and Jamie. Yeah. No, yeah. What's yours? What's your other team? Uh, I'm very so, curious. Well, obviously, both Triple Eight, because I'm very excited to see what Scott Pye can do in the Triple Eight Cup. But yeah, they were. Um, Feeney and Wink Up were just super strong in the Enduros. They just had no luck at Bathurst because of Wink Up. He just has a curse there for some reason. My other team was Cameron Waters and James Moffat. They did very. They had a lot of potential um, last couple of years, but last year they just had bad luck by having like their car damaged because of a flying wheel. So we never got to see what they could do. But I reckon sure. if they've got a good car, they will be um, a challenger for Triple Eight. But like you said, I have to agree with you. I don't think we can beat Feeney and Wink Up. It's it's a dangerous duo. Very. Very much. Also, uh, before we continue, Jordan, I think Grove will have a special livery in New Zealand. That would be very cool. Um, given that makes sense. That team is all New Zealand yeah, now. They're the only Kiwi t- Kiwi team. They should just run the flag or all blacks on the side, like uh, Chris Pith used to run. Mm. No, or not. just rename the team New Zealand for the week. <laughs> yeah. Fast Kiwis, because that's what they are. <laughs> they're dangerous. Fa- yeah, dangerous they, they're they're going to be good. They're going to be good. And that kind of leads me to the next segue, um, which is the biggest shock of, like, who's going to be the biggest shock of the year in terms of performance or... Well, we've already had the biggest shock before the season began. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, like, on the on the road, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I reckon <laughs> Grove... I, 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 yeah, I, just, I reckon I'm Grove. Them. I reckon, um, given how they performed uh, the last couple rounds of the year last year... Given how Stanaway won Bathurst with Shane, and then Payne literally won the last race of the year, I'm very excited for them. I reckon they'll be very, very yep. quick for sure. Yep, agreed. I also think Chaz Moster is going to come back to his usual self. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I think we need him to come back to normal because the last two years he's just disappeared. Yeah, he deserves uh, a good So we need him back. Yeah, 100%. And speaking of good cars, this leads to the last uh, section, which is who's going to be the champ? Now, I already sort of know who you're going to pick. You do? <laughs> I think I do. Um, okay. Who is? Who do you think? Brock Feeney? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I... just think that... I just think that now that Shane's gone, uh, you'd be out of the way a bit more. The only person I can see getting in his way is his teammate. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, also, um, Alex the Great, welcome. Hi, welcome. Uh, hi reckons Cam Waters. Jordan reckons Waters as well, but I think there's a little bit of a team bias. But no, I'm kidding. No, I, I actually, I actually look, really I, hope I, that happens. I look, I won't be mad if it's if it's Cam Waters, but Cam Waters needs like four rounds of consistency first. So maybe by the time we get to what Darwin or something, I'll be like, all right, maybe. But and obviously, with the discrepancy of cars last year being so different, I think uh, we can't really judge what we saw last year. We have to see pretty much after Bathurst, what everyone's got. And uh, he's usually really good around Bathurst, so... Yeah, yeah. I won't be mad if it's not Brock Freeney. I just think that it's his time. Well, I reckon... Will, uh, Brand, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Brock Brown. is in a good position with Brody yeah. step, like leaving... He's in a good position um, to do well this year. And I reckon if Waters does have a good car... See, last year, the Mustangs were pretty much a write-off until the end. Yeah. So if they have a better car Still this year, better. don't you know? Don't um, forget about that's Waters. That's what I'm saying. He'll be dangerous. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, hey, what's your answer? I reckon either... Uh, I, no, I reckon Brock Feeney. I'm going to... Like I said, yeah. he, he, he actually... Got, he was actually yeah, he was very strong uh, the second half of the year last year. Um, so I'm very excited to see what he can do. Right. 